Okay, in my last video, I showed you guys how to hook up the uh, R9 mini receiver to the Kakute F4 all-in-one using SBUS and SmartPort. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to wire it up for just F-Port and how to flash the firmware without taking this thing out of the frame. Uh, big key here was that we did hook this up to a five volt rail that did not repeat, did not get powered from the USB port. So first thing we're going to do here is fire up my soldering iron. And while that's heating up, I took the heat shrink off. We just got to identify which wire we're going to get rid of. And it's going to be this little green wire here. This is the one that carries my S bus signal, which we're not going to need anymore. And remember, F port has to go in on a inverted or uh, on a TX pad that has a bi-directional inverter. So this board was one of those uh, boards that had provisions for telemetry, so it has a bi-directional inverter. And we have our smart port wire, this orange one here, which is also going to be our F port wire. That is also the same wire that you flash firmware through. So this green wire, we can get out of here. Got it off of there. And we'll just pull it out through here. All right, you're gonna make me untwist the whole dang thing. All right. And we'll just go ahead and desolder this wire real quick here. Boom. There we go. And that's it. A little bit of solder on my iron before I turn it off. And that's that. Okay. And we'll go ahead and twist this back up. Reconnect our antenna. Now we'll cover some sort of heat shrink just to keep it from making contact with the frame because carbon is conductive. And that's it. That's all the modifications we need to make to the frame. We'll jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to flash the firmware to this and then how to set up F port in beta flight. Okay. We're at the computer and the first place we're gonna have to go is to the FreeSky RC website. We're gonna go to here and click the download tab and we need to get the firmware for the receiver we're working with. And we're working with the R9 mini. Click on your receiver and go down to F port protocol firmware and download the most current firmware for your region. So that's this guy here. We'll just click download and we'll We'll let that download to wherever it needs to go. And we'll go back to the download page and we're gonna look for, we're gonna click on the, uh, USB to S port. And download. Now, once those have both downloaded, go ahead and extract them to wherever you want. Just make sure you know where you extracted them to. Okay, I'm inside the zip file for the F port firmware. And I am going to be using the FCC since I'm in the US. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And just so I know where it's at, I'm going to move it into the folder for the, the update tool. All right. Okay, the next thing we do need to do is connect our quad. First thing I'm going to do is double check which COM port I'm connected to which 
COM port my quad is connected to because this is going to be very important with the, the updater program. So let's go ahead and connect and come down to ports here and we'll see which one our telemetry output currently is on. So smart port is set up on UART1. So this is TX1 is where that smart port wire is attached to. Now in our last video we made sure we had telemetry working properly. Before we move on to this, if telemetry is not working, this whole process isn't going to work and most likely F port's not going to work either. But with this board, it's most likely going to work because it has the inverter built into it. Okay, so UART1 and COM4. Next thing we're going to do is go come down to CLI and type serial pass through. And then we're going to put in our our UART number. So whatever UART we're using for our smart part wire, we're going to subtract one from it. So if it's UART1, it's going to be zero here and then the baud rate 57600. And press enter and you should see something that comes up here. It says serial pass through port zero already open. That's good. Go ahead and close beta flight, but don't disconnect your quad. Go ahead and open up our update utility for the for uh, FR Sky. And we need to select the proper COM port. For me, it was COM4. For you, it's going to be whatever it was you connected with through Betaflight. So select File and select your firmware. Remember, this is the R9 Mini F port, and I'm flashing the FCC firmware because I'm in the US. Click Open. And we see we get the flashing green light. It's trying to communicate with our board. We'll go ahead and connect a LiPo. And click download. And this is a very long process. Make sure you don't interrupt it. It's fairly easy. If this doesn't work and it becomes, you know, if you try this three or four times and it's just not working for you, you may want to go ahead and try flashing it the traditional way through the back of the Tyrannus. Uh, this does take a long time comparatively, but you don't have to pull it out of your quad. And we just wait. All right, finally, that finished. Go ahead and click end, and we can disconnect our quad, our LiPo from our quad, and disconnect the USB cable. All right. Open up Betaflight again. Reconnect our USB cable. And go over to ports. And we're going to remove this box from UART3 and we're going to select Serial TX on UART1 and get rid of the telemetry output on UART1. And hit save. Just make sure that stayed and we'll come to configuration. And down here we're going to change this from SBUS to FR Sky F port. And hit save. Okay. We're going to connect our LiPo to our quad. Welcome to OpenTX. Over to our receiver tab. And this model is already bound to this, rece this receiver and it's already set up and it's already working. All right, I'm at my telemetry page and I'm going to go down to discover new sensors. Let it populate and hit stop. There's all my sensors. No CLI commands required to make this thing work. And another nice feature is baked into the firmware for the receiver, we have telemetry on AUX12 all the time. We don't have to send it to the radio and send it back to the flight controller. It's just on AUX12 and select AUX12 for RSSI. Beta flight, power up our receiver, and you can see now it's showing our RSI at 98%, close enough to 100 for me. And that's it. No CLI commands required. Pretty darn simple. All right, that's it. 
Hope this helped out a couple people with the whole uh, F port, S port, smart port confusion thing. You know, that's the whole Pam Pam thing. Uh, real easy to flash the firmware when it's inside the frame as long as you set it up the right way. So in the future when they release new firmwares, we can go ahead and flash it without actually digging it out of the model. Anyways, if you like what I'm doing here, like, subscribe, click the bell, um, leave some comments in the bottom if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, if you have any ideas for things to do in the future, let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing. And I'll catch you next time.